Debilitating back pain, it's a daily struggle for more than 30 million Americans, but now there's a way to get rid of the pain with a simple outpatient procedure that doesn't require a stay in the hospital. Channel 2's Lauren Freeman explains how it works. Michael Ryan is back to competitive biking these days, just one of the ways he maintains a 50 pound weight loss. I believe that the, the combination of me trying to exercise with all that extra weight really helped bring on uh, the condition that I had. But a few years ago, Ryan began having sharp pains in his back and numbness in his legs and feet caused by a degenerative disc disease. Basically, my discs are dehydrating and they're squishing together. For this active 51-year-old, major back surgery would limit his mobility. Dr. Charles Edwards offered another option, microscopic lumbar decompression. Rather than making a large incision, Dr. Edwards makes a one-inch incision in the back. I dissect the muscles over that area of the spine so that I can see the nerves themselves. I then remove the portion of the disc which is pressing on the nerves and confirm that the nerve is nice and free. For Ryan, the pain and numbness went away immediately. Four weeks after surgery, he was running again. Two years after surgery, he finished an Ironman triathlon, qualifying for the World Championships. It's been a long road and um, I would not have been able to do it unless I had gone through the procedure. Doctors usually recommend treating back pain conservatively, but medication and physical therapy don't always work. Then a patient may be a candidate for spinal decompression surgery. It's typically an outpatient procedure and does not require an overnight stay. Lauren Freeman, KPRC, Channel 2 News.